So well, I guess what I've found is that it only really takes one person in a group to, to really start opening up, to, to kind of really open up that dynamic and to, to start bringing some of that vulnerability to a group. So I guess how do, you, how do you start doing that? How do you kind of facilitate that? Or like, yeah. In a workshop or, it, or IRL? In real life. Um, great question. Um, so it organically happened. Or sometimes guys like structure. So we're going to go to the pub. The first hour, boys, um, we're just going to do a quick check-in. So each guy will get, say, five to ten minutes, talk about everything that's going on in life, good, bad, whatever, just use words. We might then ask some questions. We'll move on to the next guy. Once that's done, let's talk shit, let's talk sport, let's talk, like, whatever we need to talk about. But what hap- ends up happening is that first hour stretches out to two hours because guys want to hear that stuff. Like it gets, we can talk about sport or memes or whatever the hell we want till we're blue in the face. But as soon as someone starts being real and getting into some real talk, that's when you get the kind of like goosebumps moments or your hairs prick up because you're like, this is raw, this is ex- exciting. So there's that way. Um, but then, then the other way is just kind of, it's hard at the moment, especially in Vic, just with lockdown, but when you're out away, out in nature, camping, that's usually, or surfing or doing something physical or going for a drive, that's often the time where you can initiate those chats and it feels good. Um, and I, yeah, at tomorrow, man, we always reckon that rather than just going up to someone and saying, are you okay? Let me save you. Let me be your hero. <laughs> Um, which all guys want to do stereotypically and it comes from a good place, don't do that. Just role model the honesty yourself. So just test the waters and go, hey, this is how I'm doing. Like me and my partner are, are, are arguing a lot and I'm, I'm scared and I don't know what's going on. And you talk for a bit and once you've done that, you've given the person permission to do the same. You're like, well, how, how are you going? And because you've made yourself a bit vulnerable, it makes it so much easier for the person who you might be concerned about. 